So why are pre and probiotics good for your skin? Well, it all starts at the very beginning. And what I mean by very beginning is the very outermost layer of our skin. And I just wanted to share, sometimes, you know, you might be wondering like why one day when you wake up and you notice some like more dryness in your skin or it might look a little more irritated and even that redness that shows up after your skin has been really dried out. Um, you might even see some irritation in the skin. You might be going, what is going on with my skin? Well, it could be that your barrier function of your skin is a bit off kilter. And what does that mean is that in your barrier function of your skin, we have these really cool things that are going on. One is actually called the acid mantle. And the acid mantle is really all there to really make sure there's some control going on in the skin. So when that has kind of gone off base, we need to kind of decide, hey, is there a source? Is there a reason why this happened? One could definitely be the environment, right? So our environment puts a lot of stressors on the top of our skin. And really what's happening at a very like microscopic level is that it's affecting what we call the microbiome. So you may be like, microbiome? Well, the microbiome is a place on your skin where all the good bacteria is ever working hard for you to really protect the barrier function of your skin, thus then keeps your acid mantle in check, and then you end up with a really great healthy looking skin free of environmental stressor attacks. So you'll see that less redness to the dryness. You won't see so much flakiness anymore. The irritation will reside, re, uh, reg regress if there's been a lot of stressors put on the skin. So we know that this can happen every day, it can happen every week, or when we just have a big shift in environment, we just maybe need to restore the skin back to its healthy state. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to get the microbiome back in check. How do we do that? Let's go to the top, right? Pre and post, uh, pre and probiotics that are included in your skincare to help manage all of that activity. So when we talk about prebiotics, probiotics, there's also another guy called postbiotic. So let's start right from a prebiotic. Why is it important? So prebiotics, themselves are like the fuel or the food used in order to keep the um, probiotics in your skin to activate to then bring better moisture function to the skin, thus regulating a whole bunch of stuff. And then after the probiotics are doing their job, it actually metabolizes and gives a metabolobite, metabolo, I can't say it, but it metabolizes into a postbiotic, which then turns into the finishing byproduct, which is a gorgeous, illuminated, and super hydrated skin. So it's a bit of a mouthful there. So I'm just gonna go from the top to the beginning so we are recognized. So you wake up, you see that your skin is a bit compromised. You see some redness due to dryness, you see some flakiness, irritation, and maybe some itchiness. First sign is like, hey, maybe my microbiome is a little off kilter, meaning my barrier function is off and my acid mantle may not be doing its job. So all I need to do is reach for products that are gonna help manage my microbiome that would have prebiotic, right? That's the fuel, the probiotic, which is going to give the care to bring that moisture back, and then the postbiotic, which is then going to metabolize everything and bring you to a beautiful glow evenness and help reduce any of that irritation that we're getting or the compromise should restore itself. And I'm gonna give you a fabulous list of products for you to consider and to include into your own existing home care routine. But first, of course, don't forget to subscribe and uh, like our channel as well as hit that notification bell so you don't miss any further episodes. Okay, as promised. How can you now incorporate products into your routine to help keep our microbiome in check? So the microbiome on the skin, of course. Key thing to note here, you can use a microbiome balancing product in any routine that you're already doing. So you don't have to be a specific skin type or have a specific skin condition that you're trying to address. 
everybody at some point is going to need to incorporate something to help manage the bi microbiome on the skin. So what we have is we have our gorgeous collection of the kombucha microbiome collection. We've brought in a really lovely cleanser. And this cleanser also includes a really cool technology and some of you may be familiar with micellar water. So this is a technology and why, is that, why am I bringing this up? It's because micellar is really good for attracting water, really good for balancing out the skin and really great for everything. So it's lightweight, this cleanser, I love it. It's great if you love double cleansing too. It's like also one of my favorites, but it's so fluffy and light on the skin. And when you remove it, it really feels weightless. Um, so that's why, again, can be incorporated in anyone's home care routine, AM and PM as your SOS. I highly recommend that you have something like this on hand at all times. Then we have our gorgeous kombucha microbiome balancing essence. So remember I was mentioning to you earlier about the acid mantle and the balancing effect that needs to happen to restore to a healthier skin. You will not be disappointed with this essence. This uh, essence is just as a reminder for all of you is wonderful to use prior to any treatment that you want to use in your treatment steps. So things like serums or concentrates or even a mask um, because you want to get it to pull down into the skin as much as possible. So think of essence as well as a fantastic prep before another advanced treatment. If not, that's super fine. Just use it before you go ahead and use your uh, serum or your moisturizer. So that's how this would come into play. And then as I mentioned serums, so of course we're gonna bring in the uh, kombucha microbiome luminosity serum here. Lightweight gel, super easy to use, can easily be incorporated with any of your other serums that you're already using. Again, follow the, just the method of from the lightest uh, viscosity to the richest viscosity if you're using multiple um, serum steps. So let's say a vitamin C serum, then you could use your kombucha serum, and then you could use, let's say, a concentrate, like the, um, like the um, uh, lavender concentrate, or even your bamboo uh, firming fluid, if you like. So that's how this would land or sit into your routine, AM, PM, both. <laughs> and then last but not least, I have this, it's super cool. This is a leave-on mask. This is our kombucha microbiome leave-on mask. It's a cream and it settles on the skin as a mask. But here's how you would use something like this, is that you would just take a small amount, I mean, the size of a nickel or like half a cherry, <laughs> if you wanna go by fruit sizes, and you just apply it on the skin like a moisturizer. Leave it on for about 10 minutes, and then you can just tissue it off. You can rinse it off and then continue with a leave-on moisturizer. Or one of my favorite ways to use this is overnight after a long day, or if I've been exposed to the environment a lot more, maybe I've been hiking, or I've been sitting in air conditioning or central heating all day long, my skin might have a lot more aggressors going at it and getting at that microbiome. I wanna have something on that maybe can last me all night. So when I wake up in the morning, I have fabulous, bright, luminous awesomeness to my skin and no more irritation. So some things to consider. And I guess the last one be, if you're a traveler and you love air travel, you wanna hang out on the airplane, this is a little secret that you could do before you even board, and that will create that beautiful protection that you're looking for as you're going through those extra stressors. So I am very excited to have take the time to you to explain a little bit more about the microbiome and about pre and uh, probiotics and then that little sidekick postbiotic. And if you wanna learn more about your skin routines and things to do, don't forget to check out this video and I will catch up with you next time. See you later.